So my buddy asked if I would build this for his wife as a birthday present. I said, absolutely. I love making other people's wives' dreams come true. Oh, that sounded funny. I'm Brad, welcome to DIY Wouldn't You. In this video, we're gonna build this hall tree. Now, I had never built a hall tree before, but my friends have faith in me for some reason. Anyway, let's get into the build. This is the picture of the hall tree. As reference, it's not gonna look exactly like this, but the one that we're building is gonna be four feet wide, three cubbies, top and bottom, four coat hooks across here, and then we're gonna do the board and batten look similar to this. It's gonna be painted trim white. The bench is gonna be a dark walnut color, and I'm actually going to cut out the baseboard, flush this up against the wall, and then trim out with quarter round around it to make it actually look like a built-in, and it's gonna look really crispy. So here's our material list. Two sheets of half inch or 15 30 seconds plywood, three pieces of one by four by eight pre-primed, one piece of one by three by eight pre-primed, six pieces of one by two by eight pre-primed, one piece of two and a quarter inch primed pine wood casing, one piece of primed eight foot long quarter round, and one piece of one inch by 16 inch by six foot edge glued pine shelving board, and then the paint and the stain. The first part of this that we're gonna build is the face frames for the bottom cubbies and the top cubbies. Those are gonna be constructed out of pre-primed one by twos and one one by three for the top cubby to bring it down below the bottom of that top trim there. Here's the bottom frame, here's the top frame. For applications like this, I really recommend using a pocket hole jig. You can get nice tight joints and you don't see the screws from the outside. It makes it nice and clean. This one I got on Amazon. It's a general tool brand. This is not a sponsorship. However, I will put the link to this pocket hole jig in the description below the video. which is gonna be 14 inches deep to get a 16 inch overall depth of this bench. And 47, just a little bit over 47 inches wide. Next, I putty the bottom of this cubby where it meets the face frame. That way it's a smooth transition. I got this edge glued shelf board. Um, I like to use these for these tops because it's a bunch of pieces of pine glued side by side and it gives it a really cool look on the top. This piece is actually 16 inches deep, which is what this is gonna be finished. So I just need to cut the width and then cut a small piece to glue here for kind of a bull nose look. So I'm going to cut this down to 50 inches so it's got a one inch overhang on each side. Now 
Now this video, just like all of our other videos up until this point, are not sponsored by anybody. So if you guys are liking what you're seeing, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you don't mind as well. I'd love for you guys to tag along with us. Also, drop a comment and let us know what you like about this project and go check out some of our other projects as well. I've got a lot of fun projects filmed as well as coming up in the future. So I hope you'll tag along with us. Anyway, let's get back to it. I want the overall height of this hall tree to be 84 inches tall or seven feet. So I'm cutting this back panel 68 inches tall because my seat height is 16 inches. So 16 plus 68 equals 84 or seven feet. To keep from showing the same assembly process over and over, I'll just explain. I'm building this upper cubby assembly the same way that I built the lower one, using wood glue and finish nails. I'm making sure to put the bottom panel flush with the opening on the bottom so that anything you put in or take out of these cubbies will not catch on the face frame. Since the back of this is plywood and this is going to go up against the wall, I want the sides to look nice and edged out like they should. So I'm going to be using this uh, veneer glue on edge banding. So the way this works is it's got glue on the back and then you cut your strip to length, run it along the edge and use your iron, yes your clothes iron, and a piece of, I'm using parchment paper and you actually iron the veneer onto the edge of the wood and then you trim off the excess. The next step is adding the trim slash reinforcements to the back here. The way I'm gonna do that is take two pieces of one by four and add them here on both sides. Then I'm gonna add one by twos vertically and to trim it out, a one by four across side to side to attach the hooks to. And then a little knee brace from this one by four up to the cubbies for support and for looks. Now the top trim around the top cubbies. I cut these at a 45 on the front edges to get a nice clean edge and then flushed cut it on the back to where it's gonna push against the wall. Next, I set up my Xtool D1 laser engraver to engrave my logo into the bottom of this bench seat, just as a subtle plug. And while that was running, I puttied every single nail hole, which was a lot of fun, and I know you don't care to see that, so you can just watch the engraving process for a moment. Man, that looks good. To seal it, to finish it, I'm going to be using Walrus Oil Furniture Butter. It goes on kind of thick, kind of like a cutting board wax, and it's going to soak into the wood and give it a little bit of hardness uh, and just protect it. It says to apply a thin coat and then let it sit for 24 hours and then buff the excess away. Next, I sanded all the putty and caulked all the edges. This took a while. I'm putting a coat of Kills number two on this whole thing and then just trim white paint uh, made for cabinets. So it's got a nice smooth finish, fills in any little blemishes. All right, listen, this is a DIY channel. But I don't like painting. And I know if I don't like painting, y'all don't want to watch me paint. And now moving on. All right, now I skipped ahead a little bit. I've got this whole thing painted that did two coats on. So now, uh, the next step before we install this is to put our coat hooks on here and then to put the bench top 
on the bench. Now these coat hooks that I picked, the screws are an inch and a half long. I didn't want them to go through this half inch plywood on the back. I went to my local Ace Hardware and bought some three quarter inch screws. That way they just go into here. going to take some star bond and some activator spray and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the star bond on here on the whole perimeter and then I'll spray the activator on the bottom of the top if that makes sense and what that does is when I set the top on here that activator is going to activate that super glue and this will be set up in about 20 to 25 seconds something like that and then I'm going to do some shoot some finish nails into here. If you've watched our videos before, you know we're not professionals. I'm not a professional. However, I love building things. I love using my creativity uh, to make people happy. And so our motto for DIY Wouldn't You is we want to inspire and educate. We want to make projects entertaining and encourage you to try something fun, learn something new, and impress yourself and your friends. We want to remind you that just because you haven't done something, it doesn't mean you can't. So keep learning, keep building, keep DIYing. Like this, for example. This is the first hall tree that I've ever built but I think it's turning out pretty okay. Now, let's go install it and see what the customer thinks. some caulking, some touch up paint, touch up the screw holes, and I think I'll call that good. I caulked the screw holes there and down here. You can still see them, but they don't stand out. And then I caulked all around the edge there. the pain, the grind, could change my mind, a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win at night. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I've seen what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. I took the red pen. So here's the finished product. He was able to catch his wife's reaction on video. So here's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fun projects that we're working on, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to see you back. If you want to be the first to know when we post another video, hit the notification bell. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wooden You. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. It gives it a really cool look on the top. Um, and I don't have to glue them together to make it. So if you want to see more, I'm Brad. 
We're going to DIY with you. 